What's up guys, all about the Galaxy Beam, finally with another video and uh, today I show you the solution for a very stupid problem that I had on my Samsung Galaxy Beam projector smartphone um, and that was that I could not take any more videos or pictures uh, even if they were stored on a micro SD card. By the way, this method which I'm going to show you is also working on other Android phones. Um, so the problem I had that uh, there was always an error message with uh, low memory space showing up. Uh, when I wanted to take a picture or video. Um, my phone also became very unstable and crashed several times. So I found out that the problem was caused by a very large file which is let me show you in a SD card and you have to go to DCIM here um, I had a very large file here in which is called dot thumbnails um, um, and sometimes it can also be called dot thumb data or dot thumb data something. Mine was over one gigabyte large and for some people it can be even bigger. Uh, so what is this uh, thumbnail or uh, thumb data file exactly? You can also find this file in your external SD card and on DCIM, so not only on the SD card, um, as far as I can remember. Um, so, what is that uh, thumbnail doing there? Uh, it saves small thumbnails of all of your pictures and videos. Uh, it can also save failed media transfers. So, uh, once you have backed up all your pictures and videos, like I did after I had that problem, um, this file becomes useless and uh, takes a lot of your internal memory space. Um, but here is the problem. Once you delete that file, it, uh, of, it comes back after you reboot the phone. So, deleting is not the solution. What's the solution? The solution is that uh, first you can back up your pictures and videos just in case. That's what I did. Uh, you can also, if you want to back up this thumbnail or dot, uh, thumb data file, this is not needed, but if you feel safer, you can still do it. Keep in mind, if you transfer a file um, which has a, well, like the file I'm just talking about, which has a dot here, uh, your PC will not recognize or will not see the file. That means the file will not show up. Let's say you want to back up that file, so you would need to remove the dot. Just a little tip aside. Now, um, after uh, you backed up, if you want to, um, you delete the thumbnail file, dot thumbnail, so that's what I'm going to do now. So let's say you have this file and it's really big and, uh, well, it causes problems, so we delete it. Okay. Um, the next step is you download an app uh, that, can create an, get, that can create an empty file uh, to replace that file that we just deleted. If you, have, uh, if you don't have root, you can use the ES File Explorer, this one here. And if you have root, you can use the root browser. I will put the link of both into the video description. So uh, let's use the ES File Explorer. And um, we go to the SD card here. And you will see this field. Um, all the files which have a dot will not be shown. So just uh, to let you know. So now, uh, as we deleted the dot thumbnail file, or the thumb data, whatever it's called um, on your phone, uh, we create a new one. So you just click on new file and you name it the same name, dot thumbnails. Okay, you click OK. Now you created the file, as I said, you don't see it here. And let's go back and let's go into my files and you can see it shows up here as zero kilobyte. Um, so now we replaced the useless huge file with a totally new empty file and uh, when you uh, reboot the phone, um, well, that huge file would not show up anymore because you just replaced it. So basically that's it. Um, thanks for watching. As always, follow me on Facebook or Twitter for more fancy news and uh, have a great day. Peace.